Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gateway Report. Today, I would like to present you one of my templates that's good for e-commerce and it's based on G4, this Google Analytics 4 for online store. Really nice, easy dashboard based on Google Analytics 4. Here you can find template page. And let's check what do we have here. We have five pages. Click edit, resources, manage edit data sources. And you can see that uh, this dashboard based on G4, Google Merch Shop. This is Google Analytics demo account that you can easily add to your account. And on my online course, I talk about this, but it's super easy, you can manage it. So let's see what we have here. First of all, we have e-commerce key metrics. And if we talk about e-commerce, first metric is revenue. So we show revenue and you can see that I use already upgraded scorecards for this. Uh, this is scorecard with metric and with spark line. So we can see dynamic um, default date range here last month, but you can change it if you want. So metrics do, that we have here, average purchase revenue, total purchases, first time purchases, you know, it's nice. You see almost all like 90%, I think, of first time purchases. Uh, then purchase rate, so number of total purchases divided by active users. Uh, this is calculated field. I used formula for that. And transactions per purchase. Uh, this, yeah, transactions per purchase metric. And here in this section, you can compare two different data range. For example, in example, I use current quarter compared to previous quarter. And here we have same six metrics. And we have every... Uh, we have optional metrics icon where you can add or remove some metrics and see how you know, total purchases, for example, how they are doing. And you can use these errors to move from day performance to month or to year performance. Same stuff for green for the right part, but here we can see. In previous quarter. I think it's really nice and very comfortable to see how your business is growing when you can see two different periods on the same screen. So this is the first page. Second page, sales funnel. Sales funnel is super different in Universal Analytics in G4. I created template for Universal Analytics, but here I updated it a lot. And this sales funnel is based on J4 account. Um, which stages do we have here? We have item views. Okay, this is metrics. This is uh, not session or not status. So we have item viewed, item clicked, item added to cart, uh, checkout, purchases, and item revenue. And stages that we have here, engaged sessions, promotion clicks, Add to cart, checkouts, and purchases. So this is about items, and this about like in general. Mm, you can change these sections if you want. Here you can see that add to cart is um, less than checkouts. Um, actually, for me, it's not clear how does it work in you know, J four demo account but okay use is it use but yeah you can click to edit and uh, you can change stages here basically um and then we have some table with details we can see that which item uh, item brand category item names and how many of them viewed added to cart checkouts let me see checkouts yeah, it's super interesting because uh, like a lot of products here, they have checkout, but they don't have viewed or edit to cart. And they don't have brand. 
So yeah, it's interesting settings here. Uh, but in your business will be different for sure. So, but it's nice that you already can see some trend, some um, your funnel. Our next stage is most prof profitable traffic channels. Mm, here we have all revenue and we can split revenue by traffic channels. I used filter for that. For example, organic search revenue, I use filter organic search. Uh, you can change this filter for channels that you're interested in. I selected something that I think it makes sense for most of the businesses. Um, so this is a KPIs, so total revenue by different traffic channels. Uh, then we have uh, revenue day by day. And here is interesting that since 17, 16 of May, uh, this account didn't have any sales. So it's a bit weird. We can check actually current month, this month. You're really interesting what Google is doing with this account, but hopefully you will never see this kind of picture on your business. Uh, and here we have a bar chart where you can see um, total revenue for the period by channels. Uh, actually, it's the same numbers that you have here. Yeah. Um, and next table here is a pivot table where you can see revenue by different traffic channel by month. You can scroll to see current month. And you, I think it's a really nice view table. Mm, and you can see dynamic for each traffic source. Uh, fourth page talks about most popular brands and categories. Here we have purchases by item brands and purchases by item categories. So you can see number of purchases and see your popular categories. And uh, next, here are the total purchases stream up. Uh, actually, it's the same about brands and categories, but on the map. So you can see, so this is uh, brand Google, Google Cloud, and this is without any brand. And here you see, so this ATL category that doesn't have any brand, they have the biggest number of purchases. And here, and Get a filterized items that have like the biggest one so you can see visualize your number of purchases by different categories um, okay i think it's nice yeah it's super visual like nice visualization for this kind of data and the last page of the dashboard talks about audience here you can see uh, gender and age and uh, two tables one table about interest and you can see revenue and total purchases and uh, we have our audience name and we can see difference difference number of purchases by audience name and can see conversion rate so we can see that uh, test audience has a really nice conversion rate like Okay, this is my sense. Um, again, it's Google Analytics demo account. You will have your audiences, and it's really nice. So, it, your audience could be like Facebook users, like phone visitors, um, users who send some form or did some actions on your website. So, it would be really nice to see how different audience behave. So, that is it. I think this dashboard is kind of basic but with that uh, it has main metrics that are important for all e-commerce stores you can use this dashboard as a base to create your own custom dashboard that fit for your business you can do it by yourself you can talk to me and i can help to customize this dashboard for your business also this dashboard based on g4 and i know if we talk about sales sometimes it's nice to connect um, CRM system to your Looter Studio dashboard, I can help with this as well. But as a base, I think this dashboard is perfect. And if you don't have a 
so much time, so much time, a budget. It's super nice. You just buy a template, connect your GPO account, and you already have a picture of your e-com store. I'm really, I really like it. Hope you too. Let me know about that in comments. Uh, really interesting to see your opinion, to hear your opinion about that, about this template. And see you soon.